Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to the channel and to a super exciting video. So today we're going to be having a look at the official announcement trailer for the Sims 4 Strangerville game pack. And I'm also going to be taking you guys through a blog post that the Sims team have put up and I'm going to be showing you some screenshots that I have from in-game. So yeah, let's jump straight on into this. I just want to tell you guys, first off, quick little disclaimer that the first few seconds of this trailer are kind of creepy. If you're someone that scares really easily or doesn't like freaky, creepy kind of things, yeah, just skip through the first few seconds of this trailer. But yeah, I will leave all of the links. Also, before I forget, I will leave all of the links in the description for you guys. If you want to check out the trailer yourself or the blog posts or anything like that, all of those will be down below. But like we normally do, I'm going to watch the trailer through with you guys really quickly. And then I'm going to go through and just skip to a few random bits in the trailer and see what we can see. Fun fact, I've done this before. I have recorded this exact video like 5 minutes ago. I recorded for like 20 minutes and I never pressed record. So we're going to do this again. So take 2, here we go. Yeah, see that that was the freaky part that I mentioned. Okay, so like you guys can see, it will be available on the 26th of February, which will be next Tuesday. And actually, that will be my one-year YouTube anniversary. So last year on the 26th of February, I posted my first ever video when Jungle, uh, Jungle Adventures came out. So that's kind of like ironic and kind of fun that this pack is coming out on my one year anniversary but yeah so let's go back through the trailer and see what new things we can spot so with the opening scene something that made me kind of sad <laughs> is that this is, doesn't appear to be like a real trailer it just looks like a normal home like a tiny home built on a foundation all of that th that stuff like we could do previously I was really hoping for some real like trailers like this one in the game and I'm really hoping that this isn't just like world decoration that it will actually be at least in debug that we can play so that we can place it on our lots but yeah I'm kind of sad that we can't doesn't appear that we can make like that we can have like real functional trailers but the, these fairy lights also seem to be new and in this picture that's all that seem, seems to be new. But if we skip forward a little bit, this is the freaky part that I mentioned and it's creepy. But this thing, nothing else in this picture seems to be new but except this picture frame. Now this, I didn't notice this before but this picture is actually like on a surface, it's not up on a wall and it looks like a selfie of the sims, of three sims mind you. Normally we could only take some selfies with two sims at a time and they could never be, never go on like surfaces which is something that's really annoying. You could only ever put pictures up on walls but this appears to be different and hopefully that's actually like a new in-game feature, I don't know but I'm hoping it is. Now this machine it doesn't seem to function as a regular boxing like bag that your sims can already have. This looks like a whole new fighting style. So I'm hoping this is some kind of like mixed martial arts or something. That would be really awesome. 
Now that texting thing, I think that's just edited in, I don't think that's actually in game, but I could be wrong, that would be really cool if it was, but I don't think it is. Now, something that you guys, a lot of you guys have already guessed, but this pack does come with a brand new world, and it is a livable world, it's not a vacation world or anything, I couldn't see how it could be a vacation world in any case, since it's supposed to be like a place where your sims can live, so yeah, obviously this looks like a livable world, and it looks really cool, it's obviously like, I don't know, like a desert, like wild west kind of theme, I guess, if, I guess that's the best way to describe it, we don't really have things like this here, but that's the closest thing I could think of, so this looks like a little town square, you know, where your sims can gather and all of that stuff. Maybe it's a park, maybe that's a lot. If so, that would be amazing, because it's round. <laughs> but I don't think that's like a lot. I think that's just like a gathering communal area. That's probably a lot. I'm hoping that's like a functional, buildable lot. And these stores, these stores right here, and obviously this side as well, I'm hoping some of them will be buildable. I'm doubting it just because of how close together they are. But that would be really cool if we could use those lots, if you, we could use those stores. I mean, it kind, they kind of look like apartments, like the top floors could be apartments. I don't know if we would get apartments, but I doubt it, but I'm hoping. So, yeah. And that looks like a military career. I don't know if this, I can't remember if this has been confirmed or not, but this really looks like a military career. I could almost swear it's been confirmed. And yeah, it's it looks really awesome, and I can't wait to explore that. I've always loved the military career in Sims 1 and 2, so yeah, I can't wait to explore that more. That's obviously a new stall where your Sims can buy like, I don't know, like, what do you call them, souvenirs and things like alien souvenirs, so this town really plays up to the whole Area 51 <laughs> kind of vibe, so that's that's fun. I mean, we've never had something like that in The Sims except for Strange Town in The Sims 2, and this obviously pays homage to Strange Town from The Sims 2, so that's really cool. And the fact that they're bringing it out around the 19th anniversary of the game is also really nice. But yeah, that top is new, that's a very freaky face, and yeah, it's creepy, I, I'm not looking forward to seeing my sims walk around with that face, but yeah, it's I guess it's part of the pack, so we have to endure it, I guess. Now, this, the fact that they have put such a focus on this car, in the, on this van in particular, I know this will be co probably cause a lot of backlash and things, since we don't have cars in the game, and I seriously doubt that they would put cars in this pack and not actually announce it. I don't think, I think if, it, if they ever do give us cars, they will announce it, like, publicly and say, hello, this pack will be giving you cars. So, this is probably just one of those random cars that drive around the world and don't actually do anything, but it's still a cool, like, little graphical feature, I guess. Now, this, like, computer station looks like she's actually listening in to maybe like radio frequencies or something to find out stuff. This is creepy as heck and I'm just going to go right past it. <laughs> now this is really cool and it looks like obviously a plane crash but I think it holds like a bit of a piece of the story I guess that you're supposed to solve like the mystery. Maybe whatever is causing the sims to act that weird has come from this plane. Maybe this plane was transporting something dangerous or something and it crashed and it's now loose. Obviously these scanners look like they're looking for something which is funky and really fun looking. And yeah we have some alien plants and some zombie looking things and stuff that I'm going to skip over. But yeah so this little contraption that she's holding it kind of looks like she's battling some kind of space monster, so that's fun. I don't know if that's part of like an active career, or maybe just something your sims can do randomly. I'm really looking forward to finding that out. Now this, 
this looks like they're exploring, kind of like, like they explore tombs in Salvadorada with Jungle Adventure. This looks like they're exploring some kind of like military base or lab or something, and they have obviously found a really freaky monster. Now, this shadow, I can't figure out if it reminds me of an alien or an alien plant. Maybe it's a plant, I guess. I don't know. Maybe. But, yeah, so that's basically what they found out. We don't get to see what it is, which sucks. But, yeah, we'll just have to wait for the pack for that. And then, yeah, we have some really weird clouds that looks like really weird weather. And that's a crater. Yeah, that looks like a crater. I just noticed that. So it looks like it's a, some weird clouds above a crater. So probably some kind of space invasion, <laughs> I guess. Space plants or aliens or something. But yeah, that's the whole trailer. I don't want to show you guys too much of it since I want you to go through it yourself and see what you can find. But now moving on to the blog post that I showed, um, told you guys about. So first off we have this one, which I'm not going to go through these slideshows, but this is a comic. This is a ten, little 10 picture comic. And there are actually going to be four parts of this. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading those as they come out. But this is kind of like the description, I guess, that would be maybe on Origin, I think. Whenever you buy the game, that would be this would be the game description. So I'm not going to read that for you guys. You guys can read that on your own. I will leave links down below. But I just wanted to read these key features. So one of the features that really stood out to me immediately was the A Different World one. Explore Strangerville, a rural desert town shrouded in secrecy. Encounter weird weather, creepy townies, and dangerous plants art collectibles and more so maybe those like things that are possessing people are actually plants maybe they're alien plants or something so that's something i'm really looking forward to and then unravel the story crack the code and suit up your sim so yeah that's just the like i don't know quick synopsis i guess of the pack then we have the official like blog post about it so it says there there's something happen there's something happening in Strangerville. It's a mystery and only Sims can, it's a mystery only Sims can solve. And it reads it's a quiet desert town, library, watering hole, quirky locals, military personnel, oh, a conspira conspiracy theories, a secret lab, you know, typical. Welcome to Strangerville, where townspeople are acting bizarre for unknown reasons. There's a deep, dark secret afoot, and your sim can solve the mystery in The Sims 4 Strangerville. On February 26, 2019, The Strangeness will be released on PC and Mac. So basically, it's kind of like an adventure, I guess, or a mystery that your sims can solve, which is really nice since, I don't know, we've never really had, I don't know, storytelling features in The Sims 4, like, there's a set story, I guess, that your sims can uncover. We've never really had that in The Sims 4, which is really cool and something that I'm really looking forward to exploring. But it also says, suit up. Your sim will meet many locals and search for clues. But before they do, you can outfit them in Strangerville style clothes. Will it be the bomber jacket and the stressed jeans, a prairie style dress, or the super serious lab coat? Get your sim prepared in any way you like. Now head out. Okay, you've got your gear, so where do you head off to? You could get to know the locals and secrets at the watering hole. Even visit the library to meet scientists who may or may not know important information. But your sim can't be in two places at once. So you may have to re rely on some equipment to gather more information. Follow the clues. When it starts getting weird out there, don't panic. Even though this part is in all caps. Strange weather, odd behavior, and things that glow. Sheesh. The mystery just keeps unfolding. But you may just be one step closer to solving the puzzle. So that's the little blog post that they have, kind of announcing the pack. And lastly, I do have some pictures to show you guys. So these are just four screenshots from in-game that I got from the Game Changers Network. And it shows off some 
you know, assets from in the game. So obviously freaky guy in the corner that I'm just going to ignore. And then we have this little cute statue thing of like, I don't know, like an alien plant, I guess. And we have a new hairstyle. We have two new tops, female tops. A new pair of pants, obviously. And that, I don't know if that's a new hat or not. I'm really not sure about that one. Obviously, that looks like a jute box. Probably a jute box. I can't think of anything else that it could be. We have some new artwork and stuff. Some new, really cool looking wall decorations. A new bomber jacket. Obviously, those look like military pants. A new helm, like hat thing, aviator hat. Obviously, the big yellow biohazard suit. A little armadillo kind of looking statue. And in this picture, one of the first things that stood out to me was the fact that this is a laptop, obviously. And it has been confirmed we are getting laptops, which is amazing and long, long overdue. That's something that I honestly thought would be in the base game. If I'm honest, I thought we would have laptops in the base game considering the game came out in 2014. We did have laptops and I thought it would be like a staple in the game, I guess. But I'm really happy to have laptops back. And the rest of this picture, the background, is basically just, I don't know, like a lab, like a lab, obviously, like a military lab or something. And it looks like they're study, studying some creepy alien plant things and this is just another shot of the town so the town center area that we saw earlier with all of the British stores and stuff and yeah we can see some new out some new tops and stuff so this one that hairstyle is new that hoodie is new that guy looks creepy <laughs> that military guy is obviously very confused that guy in the red suit that looks stunning he looks very he looks very dashing if I might add looks you know very pleased he looks very pleased with himself and then we have some new bold mode items that I can see we have a new fence down there that one up top looks like a new one as well we have some new dormers new windows a new door yeah and then I'm hoping these trees aren't just world decorations I'm really hoping that they're actually like viable placeable usable trees because we need more trees <laughs> we need more trees in the game and we need more plants if I'm honest but that's a whole nother story now this is obviously they're obviously like researching or looking up these like weird plants that are springing up everywhere maybe they're trying to cover it up so I don't know I'm th I'm one almost 100% sure we're getting a military career, but I'm wondering if this is kind of like a branch of the military. Maybe, you know, you have a military and then you have like covert operations, basically. So that's what this made me think of, like men in black, basically. But yeah, that's everything I wanted to show you guys. Now, I do have some thoughts on this back before I, you know, stop the video. I just wanted to say that if I could choose which pack we were to get next, this wouldn't have been it. I could think of at least three other packs that I would have liked to have gotten before something like this. Now, with that being said, I didn't even think of having a pack like this. This isn't something that I could have even imagined or imagined us getting ever. But with seeing some th some things about this pack, seeing the teasers, seeing the trailer, you know, reading a bit more about it, it does look really cool. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to explore and play with and all of that stuff. So just because it's not something that I would have necessarily, necessarily thought to have gotten, it doesn't mean it's not going to be a good pack. It doesn't mean I'm not going to enjoy it and play with it and have fun with it so yeah and also something that I always remind remind myself of is that just because they're not working on something like okay let's say for example university or just say not ju let's just say just because we haven't gotten university yet doesn't mean we won't be getting it at some point I mean I'm pretty sure that they wouldn't just ignore a big pack like university you know, I don't think they would ignore that since basically, I don't want to say everyone in the Sims community, but the majority of the Sims community 
has been asking for university. And I don't think they would just ignore something like that. They would, I'm probably 100% sure, like with cats and dogs and toddlers, that they will eventually give it to us. We just don't know when, and they can't tell us when, but just because we haven't gotten it yet, and I mean, same goes for any other pack that you can think of that you might like. I mean, it doesn't mean just because we haven't gotten it that we won't get it. It just takes time. So that's always something that I remind myself of, and yeah, it always makes me feel better because I know that the Sim Gurus do hear us, they do listen to us, they do take our opinions and our ideas and stuff, and they, if they can do something about them, they do do something about them. So yeah, I'm really glad about that, and I'm really looking forward to this pack as a whole. It looks like a lot of fun, it looks completely different from anything we've ever gotten in The Sims game. I mean, in The Sims 4 at least, and I'm really looking forward to exploring it. And yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to this pack as well. If you are, let me know what you're looking forward to most in the comments down below, and let me just know your general thoughts on this pack, if you will be buying it, if, you know, if you won't be buying it, why won't you be buying it, and, you know, all of that stuff, just general thoughts and opinions and stuff. Let me know down below in the comments, and yeah, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I will see you guys tomorrow for another video that I will be doing since tomorrow is our normal like upload day. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow for another video and yeah, take care guys. I hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you all soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.